What's up YouTube? Coming back to you to do a review and comparison of the iPad mini 16 gigabyte. Uh, this, this thing looks really good. Uh, it's got the same backing as the iPhone 5 I believe and the screen is nice. It's kind of a fingerprint magnet but I'm okay with it because once you turn it on you can't tell. Anyways, I'm not going to be doing a rev like a review of the iPad. There's there's a ton of those videos out there. I'm going to be doing more of a comparison between using this and a laptop. So, I'm not going to be doing side by side unfortunately. I had a MacBook Pro 13 inch for about three years and it's been through hell. Uh, and it was in pretty bad condition so I sold it before it was worth nothing. Uh, sold it for about 400 bucks and got this just and got some extra money to spend after paying for this guy which was 329 at Walmart same price as pretty much any other store you would go to and I'm, I'm happy with it you could have gotten it on Craigslist for a couple of bucks cheaper but I'd rather just get a new one and know that it's new so comparisons. This thing is obviously a lot smaller than an iPad or a laptop. So how is it going to work compared to a laptop? It, it really does the same stuff that I was doing already. If you're going to be the guy that's browsing the web, checking your mail, maybe doing some writing, this would be perfect for you. It's it's very portable. You could use it as a like at a coffee shop. Um, bring it to anywhere you're going. Really, it's good for traveling. And if you're just like a, a minimalist, then this is kind of a good thing to have. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a an over the top minimalist because you obviously wouldn't need this kind of stuff, but. As, as opposed to a laptop, it's pretty minimal. So, you can get pretty much all the applications that you have on a MacBook on, on this. You could get Apple's version of Microsoft Office, which is Pages, Keynote, I'm not sure what the Excel app is called, but pretty much Microsoft Excel. And much more. You can get iMovie which is good for editing videos which I will be getting. I haven't I haven't gotten any apps that are or paid apps yet because I just don't have enough money for it. And let's see here. The interface is really it's really easy and nice. I I have six apps down here which are my my main apps that I use. YouTube, Facebook, Mail and Pandora, and all the interfaces on these things are great. You have your messages on the side, and then it displays the the main message right here. And there's the um, on-screen keyboard, which is which is fine. I've used it for a while now, and I'm I'm a pretty good typer in general, so I. I know where all the home keys are and stuff, and I like using this keyboard. It's nice. I have more flexibility with it because my, you know, it's just it's a different feel. But I I type just about as fast on this key, on screen keyboard, as I do with a normal keyboard. So this is Facebook. If you're interested, um shows this kind of stuff and has the messaging on the side tilted up and it just does the news feed blah 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 I, I'm not a huge Facebook user but it's nice to just be able to see your friends and stuff this is one of my favorite favorite um, options with the iPad you could use four finger swipe gestures to change the applications on the screen and it works pretty well. I mean, some people complain about this, but as you can see here, 
it's it's working pretty smoothly. You just can't be like swiping like crazy on the screen. Like it's I mean, use some common sense. Just go slow with it. You don't have to, you know, go crazy. Like right here it's kinda lagging, but it's opening an application. So this I, I feel like it works really well. And it usually opens the applications every time because of the RAM space in these things. And it's it's kinda small as it is, but it works for me. I I mean I'm not I'm not complaining. Right there, I double tapped and opened up the applications down here, which are which is kind of mirroring the image or mirroring the applications that I'm swiping. And you could close them out by holding and whatever. It's it's nice. It's it's easy to use. The web browser, I would stick with Safari. Uh, it's the fastest, definitely, obviously, because Apple took the time to test it out and make sure it worked right. As you can see here, swiping through the images pretty fast. Not, I can't, like, zoom through them, or else it'll, it'll lag up a bit, but it's a lot faster than most because these are all high-res high images. I tried the Opera and Chrome browsers that are their third-party browsers, and they they were very laggy, and they weren't the best. I would say I wouldn't suggest them. I'd stay with Safari. It's it's the best. It's beta tested, so I I just stay with that. So let's see here. What else do we have? Hmm. We have the camera, which is great. It's it's a high definition 1080p front facing and the rear facing camera on here is 720p which is a great step up from the previous iPads I think they were just uh, like VGA camera which is really shitty quality and I, I'm gonna use this iPad for a, a bunch of videos it, it shoots really well and I'm gonna get iMovie so I could edit them, won't have a problem, it's kind of just, you know, it's it's really a computer in my, in my mind. Obviously it's kind of biased because I don't have my laptop anymore, I can't, I can't tell you if I would choose to use this or, or my laptop, but if I had both I would definitely be using this more often. It's just more portable, feels better in your hand. It's it seems to be faster just because it as as much as it's kind of small and doesn't have that much RAM, it doesn't have as much stuff to you know, power like a, like a computer has. It's it's just more simplified, so it's it seems faster and it's you know, it's just nicer. Oh, and it has iMessage, which is really it's really convenient because you could you could pretty much message anybody who has an Apple device as long as they have Wi-Fi, and that's just great because it it comes up as a as a notification just like an iPhone or something. It tells you have a message, and even though you have a phone, it's just it's it just seems more convenient to be able to just type it out on here when you see the message. So, all in all, that's pretty much my comparisons. I I would say that this can really be a laptop to some people. It could take the place, and you could use it. If I mean, if you're if you're good with technology, I'd say it's it's something that you would have to be used to already, and not kind of have a a, a bias to decision based upon like using analog keyboards and stuff like that but my video is coming to an end it's almost at 10 minutes so I'm gonna have to go I hope you enjoyed it gave you some more information I might do like a review of this thing like a more in-depth like kind of uh, software review but for now I gotta go so thanks for watching subscribe if you want to